In today's video, we're going to take a look at some shaky, handheld footage and see how we can use Final Cut Pro to stabilize it and make it look like it was shot using a tripod or a gimbal. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Before we get started, one thing to consider is when you stabilize footage in post-production, Final Cut Pro will scale up your footage. Doing so, you lose resolution and your video may appear a little bit soft. That's why whenever possible, shoot your clips in a higher resolution than your project. All my demo clips, for example, were shot in 4K, and my project is 1080. This will allow me to scale up my footage up to 200% and still retain my full project resolution. That being said, let's take a look at my clip. In this clip, I'm holding my camera with my hands and walking over a rough surface, so clearly there's a lot of shakiness in this clip. To stabilize this clip, open the inspector, and with the clip selected, scroll down to the bottom. Here you'll see a stabilization checkbox. Let's select it. Now, in the bottom of the viewer, you can see Final Cut Pro is analyzing for dominant motion. This may take a couple minutes, depending on the length of your clip. You can always check the progress by opening the background tasks window. Once done, you can see that Final Cut Pro crops in on your clip. Over in the inspector, two of the previously grayed out items are now available. First is a stabilization method, where you can choose from automatic, where you let Final Cut Pro decide the best method to stabilize your clip, or you can manually select between inertia cam or smooth cam. Inertia cam is optimized for video footage that has camera moves, such as pans and zooms. What this effect does is it takes out all the little shakes and bumps and does its best to smooth out any big camera movements. This method only has one adjustment slider for smoothness. Your other option here is called smooth cam. Smooth cam is very similar to inertia cam, but it lets you individually adjust translation smooth, which adjusts left, right, up and down movement of your shot, rotation smooth, which adjusts the rotation around the center point of your image, and the scale smooth slider, which adjusts the forward and backward camera or lens movement. Personally, I prefer to use inertia cam 99% of the time. It just seems to work better. I'll go back to the inspector and select the automatic method. And, as you can tell by the adjustment controls, Final Cut Pro selects inertia cam for my clip. You can adjust the amount of stabilization in your clip with this slider. When you increase the smoothness value, your clip will be steadier, but you also crop in on your image more. Depending on the content of your clip, you might have to find a happy medium. If you run out of room on the adjustment slider, which maxes out at 3, you can keep going by clicking on the number and manually entering a higher number. Let's take a look at our clip before and after the effect has been applied. Not too bad. Let's apply this effect to our next clip. When you watch it, you can see the shakiness has been mostly removed, but there's still some general camera movement. If we look in the inspector, you can see Final Cut Pro has applied the inertia cam effect again, but this time we have one more adjustment option, the tripod mode checkbox. When using inertia cam, Final Cut Pro analyzes your video footage, and depending on the result, if possible, gives you a tripod mode option. What this does is lock your clip down so there's no movement in the shot at all, as if your camera was on a tripod. Let's select this checkbox and review the clip. As you can see, there's no camera movement at all in my clip. If we look at the before and after, there's quite a difference. Final Cut Pro stabilization effect is a great tool that can be used to salvage which would otherwise be unusable shots. Next time you have handheld footage in your project, try it out. But like I mentioned before, it helps to have a higher resolution source footage so you can still have full resolution when cropped in. If you enjoy this tutorial, make sure to hit the subscribe button. New videos released weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. 